Hello! So this video was inspired by me browsing through social media and realizing how advanced and scary the face filters are now. You see people all the time on Snapchat, Instagram, catfishing everyone just by using a filter and a little bit of Facetune. There's also cases of streamers using a filter the entire time they're recording, which makes them look like a cute doll or something, and they'll get more followers that way. And I was just thinking, if there's people that are able to hide their actual face from their audience for that long, I feel like I could do it too, but maybe on like a smaller scale. Okay, so today I'm going to create a fake Instagram identity as a K-pop idol trainee. Using face filters, of course, because this face obviously isn't going to cut it. I saw Danny Gonzalez's video where he made a fake identity on Instagram. So thanks for the inspiration, King. Uh, here's your crown. You dropped it. I'm going to use my own social media and pretend that I have a friend in Toronto who was planning on auditioning for JYP in a few years. Flash forward to now, he was able to become a trainee for 2020. Yay! <laughs> he hasn't started yet though, so that's why he's able to make a social media account to generate some hype. Oh my god, does that sound believable? I feel like my plan is already falling apart before I even started. Like I said, we're just gonna try. I also picked JYP as the company that I'm training under because I feel like it's the most believable. SM standards for visuals are unattainable for me, even with like a filter. YG only wants like baddie edgy vibes, while Big Hit already has BTS, so that only leaves good old JYP. Please don't sue me, you're my favorite entertainment company. Okay, so right now I have about 40k followers on Instagram. So if I can get about 4,000 people to follow my K-pop idol friend, I feel like that'll be a success. That's around like 10%. How hard can it be? Well, I don't think it'll be super hard to get like followers per se, but it'll probably be hard to actually make it convincing. Okay, first things first, let's make an Instagram account. When I was trying to pick a name for my trainee friend, I went to a Korean name generator, but I had a feeling that I wouldn't be able to pronounce or like say the name in an authentic way or actually sound Korean while saying it. I don't even know if I'm gonna end up saying it anyways, but just to be on the safe side, we're gonna go with an English name. Maybe that's more believable since he's, you know, boring Canada. Wow, the backstory. So far, so good. No holes yet. So if you didn't know, there's actually a famous K-pop idol now who almost went with the stage name Ian, but he decided not to, so if he's not gonna use that name, I'm, I'm gonna snatch that right up. Ian Lee! How does that sound? Fake? I don't think so. Okay, quick summary of his profile. Born in Toronto, Canada. Birthday, August 23rd, 2001. Aw, just a baby. A Virgo, ooh. Blood type, oh. Ideal type, someone who's not nosy and doesn't question things, ever. Just to make this person look a little bit more real, the first picture I uploaded was a picture of a training room, just to show that this account wasn't made like an hour ago. My future home, so excited. <laughs> okay, wait, I have to type not like myself. I feel like that's something a future trainee would say. Definitely not something I would say. Okay, next I want to post a selfie, so I have to create the face that I want to post. What's kind of annoying is that I wish I didn't dye my hair freaking blue before I filmed this video, because obviously people are going to know it's me, so... I guess all the pictures are just gonna be black and white, unless I use like a hair color changing app. Alright, so I'm gonna use this app called Face App, and I'm gonna mix one of my selfies with another K-pop idol selfie. But we'll take a new one because people are probably familiar with the selfies that I've taken. Maybe I won't take it in my room because <laughs> too obvious. First rule of disguises, don't be dumb. Alright, so I think I'm just gonna use this blank wall as a background because I feel like there's lots of those in the JYP building. Also, it's a lot harder to tell where I am if I'm taking a selfie in front of a wall. I also changed my earring to one that I don't think I've worn before. Also my clothes, but I'm really not 100% sure if I've worn this before. Let's just hope that no one realizes. Oh god, what am I gonna do with my hair? It looks too much like my own hair. Do I shave it off? What, what's something rational that I can do? <laughs> okay, oh <laughs> So just for kicks, I mixed my face with Jungkook's face, and uh... Can you see that? <laughs> okay, you know what? It's actually not the worst, but it still looks like me. I'm gonna use someone else's face that doesn't look so much like my face. Damn, why do I look so bad in pictures? Okay, you know what? The hair actually morphs your hair with the other person's hair, so I think I have to give myself bangs like this. Okay, so I tried Taehyung's face and it's a little bit better, but it still looks like me. It just looks like me if I got 20 hours of sleep and was healthy on the inside and the outside. Hmm, what to do? You know what? I feel like I can maybe edit it a bit more in Photoshop. Is this believable? Oh my God, I don't know. So I tried morphing my face with Jackson's photo cause we don't look similar at all and... <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> ew. Oh wait, but actually, 
You know what? No, let's not. <laughs> okay, so after like 20 minutes of trying to find the right face, I think I've decided that me and Taehyung's face might be the best. So this is Ian Lee. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so this is my Instagram profile. Ian Lee. Happy face. After an hour of editing pictures, this is literally the best that I could come up with. And some of these are so bad, like they're not even human looking. <laughs> I also feel like K-pop idols take selfies in a very specific way, and they're all kind of weird. Either the selfie is really close up, or there's like a filter on it that's like super whitening or like pore erasing. Actually, if I take a selfie like this, maybe it'll be better for my disguise. It'll like distort my face a little bit more. Don't be shy, put some more. Put some more distortion, don't be shy. Okay, what's a good caption for like the first selfie that I'm gonna post? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> You know what? That's simple and easy. Let's do that. I was gonna write, hi, I'm Ian, but that's what a fake person who's not Ian would say. So, hi it is. I feel like there's enough editing where it doesn't look like me, but I feel like it still looks like me. And I don't know how to edit it more without making it look like an AI robot. I showed my friend and asked her if it looks real at least, and she said it looks off. She said that it looks too smoothed out. But I feel like K-pop idols have like super smoothed out, wrinkleless photos. All right, so I did a little bit more editing. She said she's gonna show her mom and see <laughs> if she knows who I am. She couldn't tell. She thought I was BTS. So that's good. <laughs> Okay, so I'm thinking the way that I'm gonna introduce Ian through my social media is to take a picture with Ian. So my plan was to take two separate selfies and just mush them together in Photoshop. I'm really not sure how well this is gonna look. It might end up looking really fake. Well, maybe if I add some really grainy filter to it and make it black and white, hopefully it'll look a little bit more believable. So I'm in the process of editing right now and wow, this looks bad. <laughs> it looks so fake, oh my god. <laughs> Something seems off. Well, I mean, if you look at it very quickly, like, whoosh, it looks fine. All right, so I've decided instead of posting that selfie of us together, since it's so bad, I'm just gonna post Ian's selfie and be like, hey, look, this is my friend Ian. My friend Ian just made an Instagram. <laughs> he's a good boy and would be happy if you followed him. Also, tell him that he dances well since he's a K-pop trainee. It literally looks like me, but like a hundred times better. O okay, here goes nothing. Oh my God. Okay, wait a second. Oh my God, it's good. <laughs> Uh, why is it actually kind of working? Okay, so far Ian has 52 followers. Oh my god. Hi, Advasion's friend. Oh, there's some Korean. Uh, really wish I knew what that said. Oh wait, I'm freaking dumb. It literally says what I said. I just googled hello in Korean, so yes. Annyeonghaseyo. Okay, it's been a few more minutes. I am getting followers, but um, oh no, my plan. Um, chao, ain't that Advasion, or you ain't fooling anyone. It do be smelling like fish. You're just as good as pranks as Namjoon is at taking care of AirPods. <gasps> Ugh, crap. You know what, it's fine. I really didn't think I would be able to fool that many people. I also feel like getting 4,000 people to follow Ian is kind of a lot, so I might actually change it to a uh, more attainable number. How about four? <laughs> Okay, next thing I need to do is take a video of Ian dancing, just to make it seem like, oh, he can dance. He's definitely a K-pop trainee. By the way, my plans were ruined. There's an app called Sway that actually uses AI to put your face on like a professional dancer, which makes you dance. And what sucks is that it is only for freaking Apple and I have this. Blackpink, why would you do this to me? Just kidding, I was already an Android stand before iPhone. Poor people things. So I guess I'll just renegade. So watching this back, I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Cause you can definitely tell it's me dancing, even with a mask on. Then I thought, maybe if I put like a crazy filter on it, it'll be harder to tell that it's me. But then now, um, you know when you've been taken hostage and you're forced to make a video explaining where you are? This gives off the same energy. So me dancing makes it very, very obvious that it is me. Maybe I can ask one of my friends who dances to send me a clip of him dancing. And I can just take it and just bloop, slip that in. After posting a video of Ian dancing, he was actually able to gain about 500 followers overnight. So that's great. The comments, however, not that great. I feel like I've only convinced about 20% of the people that followed Ian that he's a real person. Someone said it looks like I recorded it through a computer screen. And okay, just because I use an Android doesn't mean you can bully me. But yes, that's what I did. Why are Facetune skills worse than your fan art? That being said though, I felt like I had to change my plan because obviously this wasn't working. On March 13th, 2020, 
I decided to tell the truth about Ian. Basically, what I wanted to do was make a fake K-pop idol identity using face filters, and it seemed like I could get anyone to follow me. But y'all are too smart, and I am dumb. So now, we are going to resort to plan B. Instead of me trying to fool you guys, since you obviously know what my face looks like, uh, we're going to fool some other people together. If you know anyone who likes K-pop or would possibly be a fan of Ian's, send them Ian's Instagram account and be like, Hey, what do you think about this guy? Cute, hey? If you could also leave comments on Ian's pictures as well that are like, Wow, we stand Ian. He's definitely real because there's a lot of comments that are like, This is invasion. So yeah, nice to work with you. Let's get Ian to 4,000 followers. After that, you guys got to work pretty fast. We did hit a few bumps along the way, like, why does he look like that one YouTuber? Or, why does he look eerily familiar? Or, ew, ugly. But hey, that's okay, I respect your opinion. But, how rude. And as Ian, I still had to keep you guys fed. I decided to have Ian take a nice bedtime selfie, to show that, look, I'm human, I sleep, just like the rest of humans do. And the Ian stands loved it, they ate it up. You guys are also very convincing. Even I started to believe that Ian was real at one point. Is he? Is this gonna be like some weird Black Mirror thing where he comes alive and kills me? Well, if that's what must happen, then I guess. Wait, no, I don't wanna die, ew. <laughs> Anyways, the only thing that I could do was just keep on creating content to show that Ian is alive. Gotta show that Ian do be singing though. Except I'm not actually gonna sing. Should I sing? No, I think. <laughs> So some character development for you, Ian actually has a fan account now. I wasn't on planning on asking anyone to make one, but someone made one. We're wondering, what are Ian stands called? Ian asked in his latest post, we have Ian servants, for Ian's, cause it's like foreign, but Ian. We have lovelies, <laughs> lovely. let's be called Lee's Beans. Oh my god, some of these are so funny. Um, maybe I'll make a poll or something. He's almost at 2000 followers, that's pretty good. And over the next few days, Ian was just having a great time. He posted some dance covers and saw JYP in an elevator. Wow. He should have asked when his debut was. He was vibing to some new Itzy one day. Because people under JYP have to support other JYP artists. I literally just bought this hat for my disguise. <laughs> when am I going to wear this again? Good thing I had this kooky mask laying around that I could also use for my disguise. Let's flip it this way because no JYP trainee would be using one of these. He even got some people sliding into his DMs. But Ian's kind of shy. Actually, no dating for idols. Do you want to get Ian kicked out of JYP? He only started his idol career like a few days ago. So at this point, I don't even know who's a real Ian stan and who's not. You know what though, 2000 followers is half of what I thought I'd be able to get, and that's pretty good. Especially just by using face filters, I really thought that everyone would be like, this is not a person. Their skin has not one single flaw, their eyes look soulless and dead. But I mean, so do mine sometimes. Uh, maybe that just shows how accustomed we are to facetune and filters nowadays. Well, Stan Ian. Maybe if he hits 4,000 followers, he'll come out with an actual song and perform it on Music Bank. Except the song will probably be like 10% Korean and like 90% English. If you want to follow a real human, I have Instagram and TikTok. Feel free to stick around on this channel where I do weird things like this and draw sometimes. Let's hope that Ian can debut in 2020. Go Ian! <laughs>